These are devotions for people at a social distance. This morning in my devotions, I was reading uh, from uh, Psalm 126. Now, Psalm 20, 126, as you come to the end of it, at least for me, every time I read it, I have music playing in my head because the final verse of the psalm is, verse 6, Those who go out weeping, bearing seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. And that is, of course, uh, the inspiration for uh, the Harvest Thanksgiving hymn, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. And, of course, that is a joyful song that we sing at, at, at thanks, at, around Thanksgiving time, at harvest time, uh, to celebrate, you know, God's bounty coming from the earth as, as well we should. We need to be thankful for that. That's a wonderful thing. But you know what? We often miss the first part of that verse. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, the strong suggestion that, uh, you know, there is a lot of sorrow that comes before that joy. And I think that's something maybe we can understand uh, a little better these days. The psalm begins like this. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. So the people had obviously been through a very rough time. It's probably a reference to the exile in Babylon. But whatever it was, the people had lived through very, very difficult times. And they're beginning to see the light of day that maybe this suffering that they've gone through is over. And it's like as they even anticipate the possibility that this thing might come to an end, it's, it's, there's this dreamlike state. We are like in a dream. And uh, I think we're sort of feeling a little bit of that. You know, we are starting to see in this pandemic thing uh, a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, in particular with the coming of vaccination. And yeah, there's a, lots of complications and lots of work to be done before we see the promise of the vaccine. But, but we're beginning to get a sense of it. And it's almost like we are in a dream. Maybe we're going to get back to some sort of normality in life. This is a psalm of joy. Uh, it's a wonderful psalm of joy. And they, they go to this image of the harvest that we sing about in that hymn uh, because they're not really talking about the, the annual harvest. They are talking about how in life there are ups and downs and you come through times of great sorrow. And the sorrow that you experience allows you also to experience great joy. I guess what I would say from this is it's been a rough year and we've gone through a lot. It's been a tough, tough time. Uh, the joy that is coming is real. Uh, yeah, it, it might seem like a dream and we're not there yet, I realize. But the joy is coming and you will be able to embrace that joy. You will be able to lift up your voice and sing without worrying about spreading around a virus. And that is a wonderful thing, and the joy will be wonderful even after the depths of sorrow and loss. That's what this ancient psalm is about. They understood it. Maybe we today can understand it a little bit better. Lord our God, we have been really struggling through a difficult time, and the possibility of coming out of it is almost like a dream to us. We thank you for the possibility. We thank you for that dream. We thank you that you are the ultimate source of our joy. And for that, we praise you. Amen.